Good evening. Good morning, wherever you are. Welcome to House Ibra and Gospel Blog Talk Radio. I'm your host and your teacher for today. I'm the Sunday School teacher there at Antioch Baptist Church in Tunnel Springs, Alabama. Uh, 45 Church Street, Peterman, uh, 36471. Our telephone number is 251-564-2171. The church where everybody is somebody and Christ is the head. Our pastor is uh, Reverend William Oliver. Uh, Sister Joyce Oliver is our First Lady. And our clerk is uh, Miss Lisa Starworth. We have Sunday school on every Sunday at 9.30 a.m. We have worship services on Second Sunday, Fourth Sunday, Fifth Sunday, and 11 a.m. Again, we come to you by way of Internet. And we hope that you are following our church and our sermon services uh, every second, fourth, and fifth Sundays. This is the second Sunday coming up. We have Sunday school lesson every Sunday at 9.30 a.m. Let us go to the throne. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. We thank you, Jesus, for an opportunity another opportunity to speak that word as God has given us to. We thank you, Jesus, for this church that's been on the hill for many years as a beacon calling to the members of this church to assemble themselves together as God has asked us. We will assemble ourselves today, today, Jesus, the second Sunday of June at Antioch Baptist Church where Reverend Allah will bring the message. And for that, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, and we hope they are all being safe. We hope they are following directions uh, when they go out, covering up their face and their nose and their mouth to help God willing to fight the COVID 19 virus that has been plaguing this nation and plaguing the world. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for all the deacons. Thank you for uh, the all of the people there at Antioch Baptist Church. Keep them safe, Jesus, is to be that will. Be with us and guide us. These are many best and rest in that son Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Our lesson for June the 14th is value wisdom. We have uh, usually used a regular... Um, Baptist uh, Teachers God, Faith Baptist Teachers God, Leadership Soul for our uh, Bible Study, uh, published by the Sunday School Board. But we do not have that book uh, as of yet. Um, we hope that uh, next week we will have that book to go back to our regular study um, Sunday School lesson. We talked last week also. Uh, without uh, that regular publishing book, but we should be able to have them in our hands uh, by next week. Value Wisdom. Our devotional reading going to come from Proverbs, the second chapter, 12 through the 22nd verse. 12 through the 22nd verse. Our background scripture will come from Genesis 39 and Proverbs 2. We're going to read those two by way of introduction as a way of leading you to a better light of when we get to Proverbs 2, 1 through 11, <clears throat> which is the printed text for this day's lesson. The key verse, The Lord giveth wisdom out of his mouth, cometh knowledge and understanding. The Lord giveth wisdom out of his mouth, cometh knowledge and understanding. Proverbs 2 and 6. Let us begin by way of introduction, devotional reading, Proverbs 2, verses 12 through 22. Verses 12 through 22. Let us begin. To deliver thee from the way of the evil man, from men that speak perverse things. We all know men that speak perverse things. Who leave the path of un who leaves the path of unrighteousness to walk in the ways of darkness, 
In other words, they don't do right. They do what is wrong. They lie. They steal. They kill. They maim. They destroy. This is a person of an evil man who rejoice to do evil. They rejoice to do evil and delight in the perverseness of the wicked. They delight in the things of what wicked people do. Whose ways are crooked. They are crooked. They are not faithful. They are not true. They are not uh, direct. They are twisted and turned. Uh, whose ways are crooked and they perverse in their path. Wherever way they go, it's, it's difficult. It's something wrong. It's not right. To deliver thee from the strange woman, even from the foreigner who flattereth with her words. Oh, look at that. Deliver you from the strange woman. When, uh, when you speak of uh, deliver thee from the evil man, uh, men and women, they are speaking of this, uh, even though we have a gender of a female and a male, but when he said men, he's speaking of both at the same time. It could be women doing that too. Who forsaketh, this is verse 17, who forsaketh the God of her youth and forgetteth the covenant of her God. Oh, remember what you, how your mom taught you how, you, how, to, how to do things, how your dad taught you how to do things. In other words, these uh, perverse people don't follow from what they were taught as a child and what their moms and their dads and their grandmamas taught them. They go a whole new route, or evil route, all right? Who forsaketh the God of her youth and forgetteth the covenant of her God. For her house inclined unto death and her path unto the dead. Um, the wedges of sin is death. This is what they're saying. They lead a sinful path, a sinful life. None that go unto her returns again, neither take they hold of the path of life. Those that go that direction do not return. All right. Verse number 20, and it says, That thou mayest walk in the way of good men and keep the path of the righteousness. All right. That's the way he wants you to go. That's the way he wishes us all to go. God is that all of us be saved, but some of us will not be saved. Some of us are going to hell. Some of us will be going to heaven. It is God's will, God's hope that we all be saved. All right. Verse number 21. For the upright shall dwell in the land of the perfect, shall remain in it. For the upright shall dwell in the land, and the perfect shall remain in it. But the wicked shall be cut off from the earth, and the transgressors shall be rooted out of it. All right, that's devotion reading. All right, let's go to background scripture. This will be Genesis 39. Genesis 39. As we turn... Genesis 39, and it reads, And Joseph was brought down, officers, and Joseph was brought down to Egypt, and Potpapar, an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard of Egypt, bought him of the hands of the Ishmaelites, who had brought him down there. And the Lord was with Joseph, and he was a prosperous man, and he was in the house of his master, the Egyptians. And his master saw that the Lord was with him, and that the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hands. And Joseph found grace in his sight, and he served him, and he made him overseer over his house, and all that he had he put into his hand. And it came to pass at the time that he had made him overseer in his house and over all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptians' house for Joseph's sake. And the blessings of the Lord was upon all that he had in the house and in the field. Verse 6, And he left all that he had in Joseph's hand, and he knew that not anything he had save the food food which he did eat 
and Joseph was a handsome person and well favored. And it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast her eyes upon Joseph and said, and she said, Lie with me. But he refused and said unto his master, Wife, behold, my master knoweth not what is what is with me in the house, and he had committed all that he had to my hand. There is none greater in this house than I, neither had he kept back anything from me but thee, because thou art his wife. How then can I do this great wickedness and in sin against God? Joseph is telling his wife all that the master had given him. Master, you let him do it whatever he wants to and he has kept back every kept back nothing from me and and then the only thing he's kept back from me is is you his wife all right and, and he says how can i how can he be do that they were saying how can he go against his master and, and, and do what his wife wanted to do that means go to bed with sleep with him we know what that means and it came to pass as she spoke to joseph day by day that he hearkened not unto her to lie by her or to be with her. And that was she kept after him over and over again, over and over again. Uh, how many men um, can resist that temptation of a woman keep coming after you? Uh, how many women are you that will know that a man is married, uh, not married, uh, uh, is trying to be faithful and do what is right, and you keep coming after them, whether you single or whether you married? How many women do that? Okay. And then... And it came to pass about this time that Joseph went into the house to do his work, and there was none in the man's, none of the men of the house there with them. And there was there came a time when nobody was around, nobody but Joseph and his master's wife. And she caught him by his garment, saying, Lie with me. And he left his garments in her hand and fled and got out. And it was, she tried to... Um, to seduce him or whatever you want to call the word, but she wanted to go with him, so he just, when she grabbed his clothes, he just come out of his clothes and ran, okay? Joseph falsely accused, and it came to pass when she saw that he had left his garment in her hand and was fled forth, that she called into the men of the house and spoke unto them, saying, See, he had brought me in Hebrew. See, he hath brought in in Hebrew unto us to mock us. He came in unto me to lie with me, and I cried with a loud voice. She's lying, okay? And he and it came to pass when he heard that I lifted up my voice and cried that he left his garment with me and fled and got out. She's lying. Verse 16. And she laid up his garment by her until his Lord came home, until the master came home. And she spoke unto him according to these words, saying, The Hebrew servant whom thou hast brought unto us came in unto me to mock me. All right, she's lying, absolutely lying. Joseph ain't did nothing. Uh, Joseph is a Hebrew. Hebrew. You know who Hebrews are? Uh, dark skinned people hebrews all right um here we go and it came to pass as i lifted up my voice and cried that he left his garment with me and fled she's lying to a master her husband and it came to pass when his master heard the words of his wife which she spoke unto him saying after this manner did thy servant to me and that his wrath was kindled, and her husband got mad, all right? That's Joseph's master. And Joseph's master took him and put him into the prison, a place where the king's prisoners were bound, and he was there in the prison. Bound him and put him in shackles and put him in prison. But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. And the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hands all the prisoners that were in the prison, and whatsoever they did, there he was the doer of it. Look how God works. 
Somebody accuse you and do you wrong.